what is going on people if you weren't around for my last video which I did like a little while ago I decided to just pretty much do my entire blu-ray collection as opposed to my entire collection because it's gonna take me a while to go through everything so I decided to just do my blu-ray my entire blu-ray collection piece by piece part by part uh, so the first one I did was my Blu-ray box sets. I just did my Blu-ray or uh, Disney Blu-rays. Now I'm gonna go through my entire horror movie collection. I was gonna break it up into parts, but I think I'm gonna just make one long video for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of movies here, a good amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about uh, maybe a few of them. I'll, I'll mention something. I'm not gonna talk about every single one into depth, but pretty much. Um, I'm going to go through everything I have here. So if you're a horror fan, you might see something that you've never seen before or heard of or whatever. So maybe that'll help you uh, stick around for the entire video if you want. Uh, if not, you know, if it gets too boring, uh, I guess you can, you know, turn the video off or whatever. But I'll try to make it as fun as possible. Like I said, there's probably a good amount of movies that maybe not your average horror movie watcher has seen. So maybe you'll get some ideas of what to watch. So... First off, let me start. I'm going to start with the uh, the Blu-rays with slipcovers. For some reason, I have a lot less with slipcovers than uh, without. So I'll get into those first. Uh, these first eight uh, were ones that I bought um, two Halloweens ago. They had at Walmart, and they were the classic monster movie box sets. And uh, Well, not box sets, but Blu-rays. They come with uh, a few of the old school movie, um, horror movie or monsters. Uh, so before I stumble over my words even more, let me get into it. This one is The Bride of Frankenstein. I love these covers. They do have like a box set of these together, but I enjoy the covers a whole lot more. Uh, each one comes with their own, you know, special um, edition kind of deal. This is The Bride of Frankenstein. This is The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Like I said, these covers are awesome. Um, this is Dracula. Frankenstein. The Invisible Man. The Mummy. Phantom of the Opera. And... The Wolfman, Lon Chaney's Wolfman. So these, like I said, they do come uh, in a big box set. But I think together, uh, if you hold them side by side, I don't know if you can tell the glare is that bad, but you see all the little faces and everything, and each one in their own like special case. Definitely, you know, I like this a little bit more. Let me put these away so I have room. So let me get into this. Here we go. Uh, this one, you know, I did not like it as much as I thought I was going to. I saw the, like, cover for it, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem um, like the movie I saw in the trailer, I guess. So I got to stop really going by trailers, but that's as above, so below. Uh, let me go in order, I guess. This one is a remake, which I thought really did hold up. It uh, stars Chloe Grace Moretz, Julianne Moore, and a few others. And that's Carrie, the remake, in this uh, lenticular cover. I thought it held up. I think it held up good because of um, Chloe Grace Moretz. I enjoy her as an actress, so I definitely liked it. This one here, um, you know... I saw trailers for it, and then for the longest time it never came out, and then it did. They... Uh, got it uh, put it out in america and that's the babadook uh different kind of movie um you know uh, the little kid in this annoys the shit out of me but it is creepy at parts i'd say if you haven't checked it out definitely check it out this has you know one of those pop-up open open uh covers so that's the babadook this one definitely you know i saw the conjuring and i'm like oh man let me get this movie i heard bad stuff about it but I decided to, you know, take a shot at it anyway, and that's Annabelle. Definitely not as good as The Conjuring. Uh, this is 
Abraham Lincoln versus uh, vampires or Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter. There's two. There's uh, Abraham Lincoln versus vampires or whatever. This one was all right. Uh, this one here, the gallows. Uh, they're like shot on camera where the kids go into the into the uh, school where the one guy when one kid was hung and they you know fool around and everything and shit starts happening. I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't the greatest. Um, this one here is the Evil Dead remake. This one definitely held up as well. Uh, a lot more blood in this, you know, updated and everything. It was definitely more gory. Um, I almost stole that. Threw it away. Um, this one is Dracula Untold. Don't really remember too much about it. I don't remember, you know, hating it or anything, but uh, Devil's Do. Don't remember this one too much either. This one I enjoyed a whole lot, a whole lot. Deliver Us from Evil, a uh, you know a possession kind of movie. Definitely go ahead and check this one out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, this one I have not checked out yet. Um, stars Charlize Theron, Nicholas Holt, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. That's another one. Uh, still haven't seen this one. Uh, Dark Places. It's from the uh, based on the novel by Gillian Flynn, who did uh, Gone Girl. I like Gone Girl, so. Uh, besides the ending, ending kind of, you know, didn't do it for me. Um, speaking of Annabelle and the movie I did like as opposed to that, that's The Conjuring. Uh, this one was definitely, you know, definitely had its jumpy parts. You know, usually I don't, I, I get more scared at, uh, jumpy parts than, you know, blood and guts. So this one definitely did it. I just dropped a whole bunch of movies down here. Let me pick them up. This one, I liked the uh, first one a little bit more. This is The Collection. It's The Collector and The Collection. I do have The Collector on DVD. Still have to upgrade it. But this is The Collection. This is the second one. Uh, this one, you know, is definitely more... Has more story to it. But I like the first one a little bit more. It had that, like, you know, haunted house kind of feeling. Uh, this one came out recently. It's an anthology movie. And that's A Christmas Horror Story. It wasn't that bad it wasn't the greatest some of the stories were definitely more uh better than others the krampus part was definitely cool let me get rid of these or at least move them out of the way this one here starring keanu reeves i remember seeing it uh the trailer for it and i couldn't wait for it to come out it starts keanu reeves lorenza izzo and anna diarmas and that's knock knock it, uh, it's kind of like an intruder movie, like a, a torture movie, but with girls, they end up coming in and breaking it, not breaking in, he invites them in and they start, you know, playing around with them. Uh, this one is, you know, voodoo, kind of, you know, down in the bayou kind of deal. I enjoyed it. Uh, Jezebel. It follows, you know, I heard a lot about this movie and people were, you know, praising it and everything. Didn't really catch me as much as some, I guess. Wasn't a horrible movie, but this movie left some things unanswered. I had more questions after it than answers. Um, here we have uh, Insidious Chapter 2. I do have the first one on... I'll get into it, but Insidious Chapter 2. This one came out recently. Insidious Chapter 3. This is... Uh, the houses that October built, uh, people that go around during Halloween to all these different towns and everything for, you know, the Halloween setup that they have. Some places have really crazy haunted houses, but, you know, they end up running into the wrong haunted house. This one house at the end of, uh, at the end of the street, one of those, you know, almost like, um, I spit on your grave kind of deal where, uh, there's a rape revenge kind of deal. This is Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Um, I don't really remember this one a whole lot, so who knows. And this is uh, The Green Inferno. Um, Eli Roth, I remember the, the first death scene in this definitely you know, went nuts, and then it kind of subsided from there. But it's one of those cannibalistic, they end up getting, uh, they end up crashing into this, you know, Amazonian jungle, I guess, and uh, 
and shit starts happening. So that's that. Let me get these out of the way. So again, I have room. Right. This one is the last exorcism. Um, definitely an interesting spin on, um, on you know, exorcism movies. Kind of made it seem. Uh, now I'm trying to think. The guy is taping it, and then at the end, you kind of try to think that exorcisms are fake, and then it pulls a swerve on you. But the last exorcism, uh, the Lazarus effect. I saw a trailer for it, thought it was going to be better, kind of bringing people back from the dead kind of deal. But what they bring back isn't the person, it's kind of like a demon. It was all right. Uh, Let Me In, uh, the, is this the English? Yeah, this is the English uh, version of uh, Let the Right One In, a uh, vampire movie, pretty good. This one, you know, I've said some people love this movie. I really don't horribly. That's The Lords of Salem, um, the Rob Zombie film. It's too weird for me. I don't know. I saw a trailer. thought it was going to be good. Maggie, uh, a zombie movie with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Abigail Breslin where the daughter's turning into a zombie. It's like a zombie apocalypse kind of deal. Not as much. It's more drama-filled than anything, but Maggie... He did pretty good in Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Mama, where they find the two girls in the um, in the woods. Uh, this is Nightmare on Elm Street. The entire collection, all seven original Nightmare films in one set. Oculus is a uh, WWE uh, movie about a mirror that, you know, pretty much... It's a bad mirror, I guess. I gotta rewatch this. I remember, you know, finding it different because uh, it jumped too much. Uh, Ouija, pretty much. You can you can guess what that one's about. Uh, Paranormal Activity Four. I do have the other ones, but they don't have slip cases. Paranormal Activity Four. One of those things you watch it once and it's kind of done. Uh, Paranormal Activity Five. The Mark ones. I wasn't even going to try to get the other one because, you know, I heard bad things. Maybe once it goes down in price, I remember it was over like 22 bucks and I heard shit like it was horrible. So I'll wait till it goes down in price because it probably will. And that's a Paranormal Activity Mark ones. Again, they progressively got worse and the story got a little bit different. Uh, I didn't mind this, but I know a lot of people didn't like it as much. And that's the Poltergeist uh, remake. Uh, I got pissed off because... Uh, you know, they changed the little girl's name. They didn't have anyone that starred, the, you know, the little woman go towards the light kind of deal. They recasted her. I mean, well, of course they recast, but it's a different, you'll have to watch a movie. Uh, to Possession, where the box is, um, is evil and the girl opens up the box and she becomes possessed. Based on a true story, it says it has a special feature where it shows the box and everything. Uh, the Purge, a lot of people didn't like this movie. I enjoyed it. I thought it was, you know, realistic that it could happen. Some people brought it, you know, down a little bit further and said some of the things were impossible, but I didn't really break it down as much as that. But I enjoyed it. Then you have uh, Purge Anarchy, the second one, which, you know, is a little bit more believable, I guess, because a lot of people liked it. Uh, the third one is coming out soon. Uh, the Pyramid, mm, nah, not really for me. Kind of was like as so, uh, as above, so below kind of deal. Uh, the Quiet Ones, I don't remember it too much. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood, the story of werewolves and everything. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, the Right, don't remember it too much. Uh, Season of the Witch, if I don't really talk about it, I don't remember it too much. I like this. See No Evil 2. I do have the first one uh, on DVD. See No Evil 2, uh, directed by the Sasuke sisters. The first one is about Jacob Goodnight and, you know, New Face of Horror kind of deal. Shark Knight was alright. Sinister 1 and 2. Uh, I like the first one a little bit more. Uh, Sinister 2 had its parts uh, pretty much about this... Uh, 
guy that comes and haunts the kids through this video and uh the kids end up killing the families and everything uh this one was definitely one i found it was you know uh very cheap uh stonehurst asylum with kate beckinsdale pretty much he ends up going to this uh mental asylum or this guy ends up going to mental asylum and it just doesn't seem right uh and you'll have to wait to the end to figure it out I uh, still haven't seen this. Eli Ross, The Stranger. I got it. Still haven't seen it. Uh, this is Texas Chainsaw, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I destroyed that. Texas, uh, Texas Chainsaw. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know if it's a remake or what it was. It was came out uh, months and months and months and years and years ago. Um, I don't know. I don't remember it too much. Uh, this one is The Town That Dreaded Sundown. And this classic, I still haven't seen it, Tremors 5 Bloodlines. I got it just because I have the other four. So me being a completist, I ended up getting it. And that's a story with that. Let me put these here. This one, you know, is weird. People found it weird and some people liked it and some people didn't it's a kevin smith movie and that is tusk pretty much jason long uh justin long i don't know what Ke J justin long ends up going to find this guy that wrote a story he ended up going to find him and the guy ends up turning him into a walrus uh darker places or wow under the skin it said darker places on here but under the skin uh with Scarlett Johansson, uh, I think it's like an alien movie. I still haven't sat down to watch it. This one, I didn't mind too much. I, I actually enjoyed it. It's something different. Uh, Unfriended, where it's pretty much uh, the whole movie, friends are on Skype and they start dying one by one because somehow a dead friend ends up into the, the Skype, um, Skype thing and people start dying. Vatican Tapes, a uh, possession story. Uh... The Visit, and M. Night Shyamalan one, wasn't that bad. I kind of, you know, guessed the uh, ending before uh, it even was there. This one's pretty funny. The Voices, with uh, Ryan Reynolds, Anna Kendrick, uh, Gemma Arden, uh, Arden, eh, Arderton? I don't know. Uh, pretty much, he pretty much goes nuts, and the dog and cat start talking to him, tell him to kill people. Um, this one's different, I gotta watch it again. Uh, we Are What We Are, I think it's like a vampire kind of movie. Uh, the Woman in Black 2, I enjoyed the first one. This one kind of, you know, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, it was a little dark. Uh, I don't know if it was my TV or whatever. Really couldn't see this movie. Um, definitely have to rewatch it. Uh, I enjoyed this one. You're Next kind of brings like an 80s uh, feel to it. It's, uh, you know, um, house attack where, uh, you know... These people are at a dinner table and uh, other people come and attack them. Uh, the Walking Dead, first season. The Walking Dead, second season. Uh, I do have the third season, but it's on DVD. I got the fourth season. And then I got uh, the fifth season. Let's see. Now to get these out of the way. Those, nope, actually I lied. Let me get these. A little extreme close-up. Uh, I got the Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. I did a review of it, so if you're interested. Uh, this one's pretty funny. Wolf Cop. Uh, pretty much a werewolf cop who kicks ass. Supposedly they're making a second one. Uh, cooties. I enjoy this one with Elijah Wood. Kids end up getting cooties and turning into zombie-like creatures. I... This is the other one I won in that um, that eBay lot uh, that I was talking about. Uh, this is Hansel and Gretel uh, get baked. Um, yeah, Hansel and Gretel get baked. Different movie. This one I still have not even opened. I haven't. I haven't opened it. That's Hangman. Kind of looks like a shot on tape kind of deal. No idea. Still haven't even opened it. There's a lot of movies like that that I haven't opened that you know I should eventually try to get to watching because i do own them now oh 
throw those out of the way. So, like I said, those were all the ones that I had that have, um, no, I lied again. I lied again, you see? This is what happens when you have too many movies. You have an addiction and it, uh, kind of overruns everything. But, you know, for those who love movies, sometimes I'll walk in and I'm like, hey, look, I got a whole bunch of movies and I'm happy. And then other times I'm like, what the hell did I do? But this is, uh... The Leprechaun, the complete collection, it's got all, uh, what is it, seven movies in it, including the Origins, which I really did not enjoy that much. This is the Hills of Eyes remakes. Uh, I still haven't opened it. I won it in the contest. And this is the Omen collection. It's got four movies in it, I believe. Four disc set, which is the uh, Omen 1, Omen 2, Damien... Omen 3, The Final Conflict, and then the Omen remake from whatever year it came out. So, now, that's all my... No, I'm a, no, yeah. It's all the ones that have uh, slip covers. So now, let me try to make room for myself. So now, I'm on to the ones that have no slip covers. Um, these... This stack here is going to be movies that have multiple movies on it. Um... So let me get into it. These next couple are a TV show, I believe. It was, uh, don't know what it aired on. But it's uh, all these different producers, uh, directors, um, have shorts that they put onto these movies. And uh, it's called Masters of Horror. This is number, f uh, season one, volume four. It has imprint, homecoming, heckles, tail, and chocolate. I think they come almost an hour a piece kind of deal, just about under it. This one's volume three. It has Pick Me Up, Dance of the Dead, and Incident on In and Out Mountain Road. I remember seeing a couple of them. They were pretty good. Uh, this one had I bought from uh, what do you want to call it? No, I can't even think. Walmart. Uh, it actually has all the movies that I have, so I'm probably gonna get rid of this one. But it has. The Possession, Cabin in the Woods, and Sinister. I'll probably end up getting rid of this somehow. This is a double pack, Anatomy and Anatomy 2. This one I got for uh, Deep Rising. I didn't, I don't even know what the Puppet Masters is. That's Deep Rising with, the, you know, the ship that taken over by like, um, like mechanical beings, like robots kind of deal. This one I enjoyed, Hollow Man and Hollow Man 2. First one with Kevin Bacon, the second one with um, Kristen, Schl Kristen Slater. This one is Hostel and Hostel 2. I don't remember the second one. I think there's a third one, actually, for that. Uh, this one is When a Stranger Calls and Happy Birthday to Me. Never really saw those. This one has Otis and Dr. Giggles. Um, doc, the guy from Dr. Giggles actually passed away recently. Uh, so I want to revisit that. I remember liking it like an old school 80s slasher and Otis is like a new school I guess slasher you want to call it uh, this one has Dracula uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein uh, with De Niro I like these movies so got them in a dual pack this one has well uh, the haunting in uh, of Worcestershire house Winchester house and Omega one of those the Omega, I Am Omega is one of those ones that I got. I have a whole bunch of those eight movie pack DVDs. And I think I have that on like three of them. Uh, this one is a Hellraiser. Uh, the last four, I believe. Hellraiser, Bloodline, Inferno, uh, Hellworld, and the Hellseeker. The Hellraiser movies. Um, I believe those were are the, uh, old, like the further ones in the uh, collection. This has four movies, Dust Till Dawn. Uh, Dust Till Dawn 2, Dust Till Dawn 3, and Full Tilt Boogie, and that's the Dust Till Dawn collection. Uh, this one has the Mimic movies, three set, uh, uh, three movie set. Um, this one has Forget Me Not, The House of the Fallen, and Red Hook. The only one I really liked out of this was Forget Me Not, kind of reminded me of a, uh, are you afraid of the dark film? Like an uh, episode kind of deal. This one has the Night Listener and Benefit of uh, Benefit of the Doubt. Saw a Night Listener. That was definitely a, a weird one. Uh, no, that's a one-hour photo with Robin Williams. Night Listener, I don't remember too much. 
Uh, this one is Hannibal season one. This has five, no, six movies in it. It has Keepsake, Hoboken Hollow, Killjoy 3, Ronin 213, and The Ginger Dead Man 3. I knew they had two. I forgot they had that third one. But this is one of those cheap, low-budget kind of deals. And then this one has four movies in it. Visible Scars, Allure, uh, All God's Creatures, and The Hanged Man. Um, again, lower-budget, uh, independent, I'm guessing, movies. So, that's that. Let me get these out of the way. Let me put these here. Make it a little easier to maneuver. So... Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. These are most uh, mostly just you know regular movies. Uh, the Possession of Michael King. I don't remember this one too much. I'm gonna try to fly through these. Uh, the Poltergeist two and three, the second and third, like the original second and third. Uh, the original Piranha. This is Pieces of Talon. If you haven't seen it, go ahead, uh, check it out. Um, it stars Christy Ray, uh, it's directed by Joe uh, Stafford. Who else is in this? Um, I get David Long. Uh, pretty much, it's a uh, you know this guy is a psychopath. I don't want to. I don't want to go into it. Just watch it. Pieces of talent. Uh, like I was saying, Paranormal Three, Paranormal Activity Two, Paranormal Activity. Those movies, like I said, it's a one-trick pony. You watch it once, and it's kind of, you know, done with. Odd Thomas. Night of the Creeps. Old school one. Definitely definitely one. It's like a... Um, it has a whole bunch of monsters and stuff in it. Muck. I was excited for this one. Um, you know, it, it was a little bit different than I thought. It had, like, these monsters. I thought there was going to be a lot more to it. Wasn't bad, but uh, this is Mothra one, two, and three. Uh, I remember I got this at uh, Walmart for cheap. This one I got thinking it was a different movie. Didn't watch it because I realized it wasn't. Uh, one day I'll check it out, and that's the mother uh, or mother. Uh, it's the director of the movie. I'll, I'll get into. Uh, this one was actually pretty cool. Mirrors two. I enjoyed the first Mirrors, definitely called me off guard, and this one wasn't, this one was actually a little bit better, I, I actually like this one. This is uh, Maniac, a uh, remake with Elijah Wood, I didn't think he was going to act, well, I didn't think he'd be good in a horror movie, and then he, he's in Cooties, which he was pretty good, and this one he had, he's like crazy in, so if you haven't seen that, check it. <clears throat> this one, uh, I don't remember this one too much, to tell you the truth. Lovely Molly. I gotta rewatch that one um, when I get a chance. This is uh, the Scream five disc set or five. Uh, I lied. Five film set. It's not the five movies, but it's uh, Scream one, two, and three. And it has a two documentary, still screaming and screaming the in, uh, screaming. Yeah, Scream the Inside Story. This one has all the Saw movies. The only problem is none of them have any special features on them. It's just like the clear bone uh, version of it, which, you know, I would have liked some kind of special features, but all seven movies on one. <clears throat> Don't remember this one too much. Scar 3D. This is Rosemary's Baby. Uh, I think it's like a three-episode uh, short kind of deal. This one's weird and crazy. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. <clears throat> Rise of the Zombies with uh, Danny Trejo. I don't remember this one. I, I know it's kind of cheesy. It's got a... Uh, what's his name in it? Uh, Ethan Suplee's in it as well. Uh, don't remember it too much. <clears throat> Return of the Living Dead. This was one of the movies that they had, you know, special for Halloween. <clears throat> the Relic. Uh, one of those... Uh, old school movies where they bring this uh, thing to a museum and they think it's, you know, like, dead and then it ends up growing and takes over. This one I thought was... <clears throat> I apologize. This one I thought was uh, the original movie, but it's actually a second to it. Still haven't checked it out. The first one was nuts. Uh, this is 
Rampage, uh, Capital Punishment. This one was, the first Rampage was nuts. I still haven't seen this one. Prometheus didn't like it as much. I thought I was going to like it. I enjoy the Alien movies, but really didn't like that one. This one, the eh, Priest. This one I liked a whole lot. Anthology movie, Trick, and, uh, Trick or Treat. Um, this is the Thing remake, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't even know if it's a prequel or remake or whatever the hell it is. It's a Thing. This one I got right after Roddy Piper, unfortunately, passed away, and that's They Live. If you haven't seen it, you know, definitely go ahead and check it, where he has these special glasses that they see, that sees these people for what they really are. Tall Man with um, Jessica Biel. Different kind of movie from what I remember. I haven't seen it in a while. Sushi Girl starring Courtney Palm and a whole bunch of people. Tony Todd. Uh, pretty much a jewel heist gone wrong. Years later, they all come back together and uh, try to figure out what happened to the uh, to the jewels. Straw Dogs, one of those, uh, you know, house attack. Again, I keep on saying house attack, but I don't really know what to say. Stitches. This is one of those horror comedies that are funny as hell about a clown that ends up getting killed at a birthday party and comes back and, uh, you know, finds the people. Uh, Stakeland, don't remember much about it. Spring, about a uh, guy finding a girl in, I think it's Italy or somewhere, somewhere in another country, and she ends up being um, something else. Uh, Spiders, I don't know, I got it for uh, cheap on Black Friday. Uh, still haven't watched it. Old School Slumber Party Massacre. Uh, pretty much, uh, I guess it's a janitor. kind of goes after the girls. Silent House. Definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be from the trailer. Shark vs. Octopus. No, what is it? Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. One of those, you know, lower budget sharknado kind of deals speaking of sharknado 2 i still don't have the third one eventually i'll get it just because i'm a completist sharknado 2 and sharknado i don't know i don't see why they got so big scream 4 with uh david arquette nev campbell courtney cox i enjoyed it i enjoyed the uh scream movies uh 2001 maniacs with uh robert england was all right don't know, 100 feet. I remember getting this years ago. Still haven't seen it. Uh, Zombie Killers, Elephant Graveyard. Definitely go ahead and check this one out. It stars uh, Billy Zane and uh, what the hell's her name? Now I can't even think of it. Um, Gabrielle Stone and uh, uh, I can't even think of her name. Zombie Beavers, cult classic with a Courtney Palm. Beavers turning into zombies. Uh, Zodiac, about the Zodiac Killer. This one's definitely underrated. I enjoy it a whole lot. Uh, Wrong Turn 6. This one I got, uh, they recalled a whole bunch of these, which I didn't know, and I just kept this. Uh, this one's the one where, uh, they had a, um, a missing person sign that the person wasn't found, and not, that's a no-no, and then I think the person was found dead or something. Uh, Wrong Turn 5. They progressively got worse and worse. I enjoyed the first wrong turn. Then the next couple, I, I have them on DVD. Uh, Would You Rather, this movie definitely got me pissed off. Uh, just because of the, you know, some of the people in this definitely had an attitude and I didn't like it. But I guess that's what uh, movies are supposed to do. Uh, the Woman in Black starring Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, like I said, I like this movie, the first one. The second one, again, I got to rewatch because for some reason it was like black ish uh the woman in black this one's uh bigfoot movie willow creek definitely pretty cool because you never really see anything but uh just the whole sound and everything to it we're still here uh pretty good movie about you know a possessed house not a possessed house but a uh a um haunted house uh that's who it is mishka barton was in zombie killers elephant's graveyard this is walled in uh like a held against your will kind of deal. VHS, the first one. Anthology movie, I like this one. The second one I like as, as well. Uh, but I showed that off in the uh, other one. I did not get the third one yet. This is Tucker and Dale versus Evil. 
one of those co horror comedies. Definitely my favorite. They're coming out with a second one. I can't wait for it. If you haven't seen it, Hillbillies running into, you know, everyday teenagers, like college kids, and the exact opposite of what you would think happens instead of, you know, these two hillbillies killing these kids there after them. It's definitely a funny movie. You definitely got to go ahead and see it. Troll Hunter, I forget where it is. It's uh, it's definitely somewhere um, uh, Norway. It's based in Norway where these troll hunters, there's actually, you know, actual trolls and you have troll hunters, almost like Bigfoot hunters, and uh, they run into trolls. It's very interesting. You know, it's definitely shot very well. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, this is Lost After Dark. This is an, uh, you know throwback to you know 80s slasher movies which i actually enjoyed a whole lot let me try to move these out of the way so i can pull these forward uh this one i still haven't seen life after life after beth still haven't seen it uh let us pray another uh vampire movie this is that uh let the right one in uh let me in is the remake this is the uh original Another, I, I like both. They both, you know, could be compared to each other. Uh, the Last House on the Left, uh, remake. No, is this the remake or is this the original? Um, I think this is the remake. One of my favorites, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Little side note, this is one of the first horror movies I've ever seen. I remember telling people about the whole premise of you pop the clown's nose and they die. Definitely one of the ones that got me into horror. Uh, Joyride 3. Roadkill. I don't think I've seen this one. I haven't. Still haven't seen it. I just upgraded this. Jennifer's Body. Uh, pretty much got it for Megan Fox and uh, Amanda Seyfried. Both are very pretty. Pretty much she ends up getting possessed and turning into this... I don't want to say vampire, but it's kind of like a demon vampire slash I need blood kind of deal. Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, the third one, is coming out this year. Finally, after all these years of talk, supposedly it's coming out the end of the year. Uh, pretty much a monster that feeds off people and takes body parts and such. Uh, I'll just take these all, I guess you want to call it. Uh, pretty much all these have their same uh, aspect. It's the I Spit on Your Graves. Uh, I Spit on Your Grave, the original... The remake, uh, the second to the remake, and then the third to the remake. All of them have that same rape revenge. Something happens and girl gets raped and she pretty much goes after her attackers. This one I don't remember a whole lot. I remember not liking it that much. Um, Intruders, definitely didn't understand it as much. Uh, definitely thought it was going to be a little different as well. And put these on the ground so that I have room. Uh, this is the first Insidious. I enjoyed this one the best out of all of them, I think. This is, this one I almost threw up. I almost didn't finish this one. One of the movies that I, you know, most of the movies I can watch and finish. This one I almost had to turn off. The Human Centipede 2. I still haven't seen the third one. But I remember seeing the first one and all these people were talking about how crazy and whatever it was. I was like, it wasn't even that bad. This one, on the other hand, was definitely worse I almost couldn't finish it. So I got the first one, The Human Centipede. This one, The Howl, or Howl, a uh, werewolf movie on a train. The Host, this was the director from Mother that I got, so I have to check that one out. This is about, you know, a lab makes these little uh, monsters or little things and they end up having to throw them into the river because uh, they didn't no one knew that they were doing these experiments and these things end up growing to monstrous monstrous things uh, horns with Daniel Radcliffe I like this one a whole lot where he ends up you know becoming the devil kind of deal he got pissed off and he grew these horns uh, because at one point they framed him for murder or whatever uh, this is the honeymoon or honeymoon uh where you know people these two couple this couple just got married uh ends up going into the woods and the woods kind of reminded it reminded me of the evil dead where she kind of got raped by the woods and then becomes something 
Uh, the Hills Have Eyes 2, the original. And The Hills Have Eyes, the original. Uh, definitely, you know, old school 70s. And, uh, graphics weren't the greatest. Or the special effects weren't the greatest. Uh, the Haunting in Connecticut 2. I like the first one. This one is a complete different story. Got to remember. I, I got to watch this one again. I don't remember if I liked it or not. Haunter uh, with uh, Abigail Breslin. She's, it's a pretty much like a ghost story. Let me get these. These are uh, the Hatchet series by um, Adam Green. Definitely, if you haven't checked these out, check them out. They uh, almost like you know Friday the Thirteenth kind of deal. Uh, um, now nah, I can't even think of what I'm talking about. Friday the Thirteenth, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. This guy, you know, uh, Victor Crowley, one of those people that you think he's dead, but he's not, and he comes back. Um, who knows? Could possibly be another one. Kind of left it open. Who knows? This is uh, Frozen. Not the Frozen from Disney, but another Adam Green film where a uh, couple group of, group of people end up going to a um, ski resort and they get stuck on a ski lift and the thing is closed for who knows how long. It would have been closed for the weekend, but if it doesn't, you know, it isn't busy, so it might not even open, so they're kind of stuck on this uh, ski lift. Uh, Fright Night 2. Frankenstein's Army, pretty pretty interesting, where this guy kind of makes these monster-like creatures, I guess you want to call it, to fight in the army. Uh, Final Girls, one of those... Uh, horror comedy movies uh they end up and in, end up into uh an old slasher flick they end up going to see it and then something happens in a the movie theater they try to go behind the uh the you know the screen and everything and end up in the movie somehow uh the fields uh harrison smith uh made this movie uh pretty much a, a story about his life and everything not fully but very interesting uh Dylan Dog, they, uh, what is it, Dead of Night, he, you know, talks to the dead and everything, I don't remember exactly, uh, The Drownsman, this was interesting, um, pretty much this guy, uh, ends up killing these girls, he ends up getting killed himself, and he had, ends up like a ghost in the water kind of deal, uh, Don't Go Into the Woods Alone, I don't remember this one too much, uh, I think it was like a lower budget movie, uh, don't be afraid of the dark, Guillermo del Toro. Still haven't checked it out. Uh, another Adam Green movie, Digging Up the Marrow, where he finds, it's actually him in the movie, he finds a story of a guy that says he's found this, like, gateway to um, the, another world where monsters live. Like, uh, you know, if there was a deformed baby back in the day, they throw it away, and this is where it went to kind of deal. So there's a whole bunch of monsters. Uh, Devil... M. Night Shyamalan, where a lot of pe these people are in a elevator, and uh, one of them is the devil, and you don't know who it is, and it was all right. It wasn't a horrible. Hopefully, you can hear me. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, this one is pretty hard to find nowadays, so I'm glad I got it for the price I got it for, and that's Dead Alive, um, also known as Brain Dead. It's uh, Peter Jackson's first one, very gory. Uh, this one I haven't seen. The Dead, no idea. Uh, alien movie, Dark Skies. I don't remember liking it that much. This one's really cool. Deathgasm, if you like um, horror, if you like metal, it's combined into one. Old school movie, Curtains. Uh, Cub, I don't remember this one too much. Actually, I remember it's just a little hard. It's about a boys going to this camp and... Uh, they're attacked by this other childlike thing. Uh, Children of the Corn remake. I don't know why I got it. Carrie, the original. Uh, the Cabin in the Woods. The Devil's Door. Burying, uh, burying the X. I thought this was pretty funny. It has uh, uh, Alexander Dodoro. Dodero. She's gorgeous. Really nice eyes. Uh... Burying the X, where 
the girlfriend ends up dying but comes back to life buck wild about these you know uh hillbilly zombies uh the black waters echo pond i remember watching seeing the trailer for this and then never heard of it again and wasn't really anything to write home about uh bikini girls on ice they're making a second one pin up dolls on ice uh i enjoyed this one about a, a group of cheerleaders or something like their car breaks down and they end up going to this abandoned uh abandoned uh no i can't even think of the word uh gas station put that down coming to the nitty gritty almost done guys Now, if I could reach these. Uh, the Army of Darkness, uh, third one to the Evil Dead series. Uh, this one I still haven't opened. I've had it for the longest time. The Atticus, uh, Atticus Institute, I don't know. Uh, All the Boys Love Mandy Lane, pretty much another, you know, rape revenge kind of deal. Uh, all the Cheerleaders Die or All Cheerleaders Die. Don't remember it. I know they turn into like vampires or something. Afflicted. Don't remember this one. Uh, these two are pretty cool. I enjoy them. Um, the ABCs of Death. Um, one and two. Pretty much, it's a horror anthology where they get twenty six different um, twenty six different directors to come and direct these films. Uh, each director gets a letter of the alphabet, which they make a short. Most of them are like five minutes long, but they uh, make a short corresponding to the letter of the alphabet. Uh, the Apparition, don't remember. Uh, Apollo 18, uh, I remember seeing this and it definitely wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was some kind of gigantic monster. I'm not going to give it away. Uh, classic, an American werewolf in London. Or, and Yeah, in London, I almost said Paris. Uh, American werewolf in London. Classic, one of the best werewolf transformed scenes. And American Mary by the Saska Sisters definitely has a cool storyline to it. And, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it, definitely go ahead and check it out. She pretty much is a, um, a nursing student, uh, tries to get through nursing school by going to a uh, strip club. Not to strip, but to, you know, bartend and everything. And something happens and she ends up doing something completely different. And you just have to watch it to see. And here it is, the last of the uh, stacks that I have here. Going on freaking 50 minutes is the longest video I've ever done. So hopefully you're enjoying yourself. Uh, these two are Adam Green's TV show, uh, Holliston. It has Adam Green and um, Joe Lynch. I think it's Joe Lynch. Uh, Joe Lynch. It's got Corey English. And a couple other people, uh, Dave Becker from Guar, D. Snyder, or Dave Brocky, sorry, D. Snyder's in it. A couple of different things, but TV show about the, uh, you know, Adam Green and Joe Lynch. They're, you know, two roommates trying to make this horror movie about a goalie, about like a hockey goalie and all this stuff. You know, it's pretty cool. This one, The Invoking and the Wicked, interesting double pack. Uh, old school street trash, um, definitely cheesy. Uh, Savage Streets, this is another one that's out of print, so I got it when, uh, when, you know, at the right time, I guess you want to call it. Linda Blair, her sister gets raped, and she takes, uh, vengeance. Uh, Return of Nukem High, uh, Trauma, pretty interesting. Uh, this one is Nail Gun Massacre, another one that was a little harder to find. Uh, another rape revenge movie. For some reason, I got a whole bunch of those. Uh, this one I just got recently, Harvest Lake, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, kind of reminds me of The Happening, but sexual style, I guess you want to call it. Uh, this is the other Masters of Horror, I guess, for some reason, it got into another um, another pile. That's Masters of Horror Season 2, Jennifer, Sick Girl, and Deer Woman. And uh, I do have another one called Headless, which is actually over there, which I forgot to get. And finally, Freaks of Nature uh, re came out a few, uh, like January, I believe, to DVD or Blu-ray. Pretty much um, a town with everything that you can think of. It has uh, zombies, it has vampires, it has humans, and uh, all of a sudden aliens come. And uh, 
instead of, you know, banding together, they're, you know, it's just mass chaos. It was all right. I enjoyed uh, some of the other newer, you know, horror comedies a little bit more. But what can you do? So, 50 minutes later, uh, one of the longest videos I've ever done on my channel. That is my entire horror Blu-ray collection. If you liked it, if you stayed the entire time, let me know you stayed the entire time. Let me know if there's anything out of this entire, you know, update or entire collection that you want me to, you know, actually sit down and review. Um, if there is, you know, just leave me a comment, whatever. Uh, if you enjoy these this series, I'm going to continue with it. I got a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll just pretty much go shelf by shelf now. Uh, that I just got, you know, the, the horror out of the way and... And Disney out of the way and such. So there will be other parts. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you like this stuff, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know you want me to continue to do it. But I'm going to continue anyway. Um, and also, if you saw anything that you wanted to, I pretty much post uh, all my movies on my Instagram, Tony's Movies. If you have an Instagram, if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. I do have a Twitter. Tony has nine fingers. You're looking at Tony has nine fingers, uh, you know, YouTube. I also have an Aminu, uh, Horror Aminu, Amino, Aminu, I forget the, the uh, name, uh, Amino, that's what it is. I have one of those. Add me on that if you haven't. And yeah, uh, if you enjoy this stuff, if you like full, uh, you know, updates, I guess, as opposed to just um, reviews, let me know. And yeah, before this video goes any longer... Thank you for sticking around. Again, if you stuck around, let me know if you liked it or just say you, you saw the entire video. And until next time, I'll see you guys.